We have several things to sort out here. The first was something that we saw all over Twitter and Facebook. Were Oregon Republicans upset with the ballot checking process in Clatsop County? So we can verify that yes, that is true. Communications director for the Oregon Republican Party, Kevin Hoare, said Republicans were not included on the signature verification process board and the drop box collection board in Clatsop County. Republicans were put on the ballot counting board. Hoare said these concerns were raised Monday, but Clatsop County did not make changes. I even invite the, uh, the, the shadow of doubt uh, into this process. Why not just include some Republicans in that and call it good? It's easy. It should be done. Clatsop County officials said no one was excluded from any job or task with our elections staff based on their party affiliation. OK, next up here, was there voter intimidation in Springfield, Oregon? OK, we can verify that this one is false. So we reached out to the Springfield Police Department. We were sent a picture claiming the Trump supporters were wearing bulletproof vests and they were blocking ballot boxes in Springfield. And according to to the police department, that is not true. The pictures that we were sent were from a Trump rally last weekend. Springfield police said the complaint was unfounded. People had access to the ballot drop box and there was no evidence of voter intimidation. OK, lastly, did equipment malfunction in Clackamas County? And we can also verify that that is in fact true. The machine that opens envelopes broke Tuesday evening. Clackamas County elections officials told us it did not impact its plan to count the 165,000 ballots it had already expected to release. And that machine should be repaired overnight. Do you have something you want us to verify? Let us know. Email us at verify at kgw.com.